Welcome to Peaceful Power Project. This is a special prenatal offering with a focus on releasing tension in the lower back. Therefore, we will address uh, the hips, front, sides, back, and inner thighs. Uh, let's begin in child's pose. Uh, do take a towel or a blanket to place beneath the knees when we come to all fours, and then a pillow is really nice either for child's pose or a final resting position. Bringing the knees onto some padding, letting the big toes touch, taking the knees appropriately wide, setting the hips back to the heels. If you have poor circulation or tenderness in the knees, you can take your child's pose uh, a bit forward, resting the forehead on the pillow and the forearms on the ground. Otherwise, if you're comfortable, set the hips back to the heels, let the forehead rest upon the pillows and release the arms. Let the elbows wing out a little bit, just so this is a very passive, restful shape. And we will begin with five breaths in and out through the nose, focusing on the inhalation, filling your back body, right? We know the inhale is many dimensions, but for this practice, just focus with each inhale to feel your back body fill. And with each exhale, feel the back body soften and release. Three more breaths. It's a natural shape change of the body as you inhale, expand, stretches open natural shape change of the body as it releases, contracts, draws in. Two more big breaths. And let your next inhalation pull you up to tabletop, so all fours, and you move the pillow off to the side. Set up the knees comfortably underneath the hips or a little bit wider and the wrists underneath the shoulders. Press into your fingers. Let the collarbones be broad. Take an inhale here. As we exhale, round into your cat stretch. So draw the tailbone down and the chin under. On your next inhalation, it's a prenatal cow. So instead of letting the belly really hang, Think of softening through the elbows, pulling the heart forward and drawing the tailbone back. And exhale, come to round, no hardening through the abdomen here. Just really push the fingers, push down to the tops of the feet, relax your neck totally. And then inhale, elbows soften as you draw the heart forward and pull the tail back. So you don't wanna be uh, really hanging out in the low back and just continue here. And after your next full round of this kind of modified long cow stretch and a cat stretch, shut your eyes and move about in any way that feels uh, nice for your body. So just mindfully yet organically kind of feeling out the sensation through your back body, maybe kind of swirl through the hips, move through the shoulder, And then find yourself once more in a child's pose. So the knees can go a little bit wider for this. You can take the pillow beneath the forehead if needed, otherwise resting the head upon your mat. Just take one deep inhale through your nose here. Feel the back body expand. And now open the mouth and just clear it out. Allow your next inhale to pull you up to all fours. Walk your hands forward a couple of inches. Make sure you are pressing down through the padding of your knuckles, through the fingertips, and come to a bent knee down dog. So push down into the hands, long strong arms as you curl the toes and reach the hips up and back as you send the chest toward the thighs. And then right away, just pedal out, bend one knee and the other alternately.
just leaning into your hips. Feel a nice release through the low back. And then looking forward, mindfully step yourself forward. And then right away, when your feet get close to your hands, let the feet be wider than hip width and bring the hands right away to the shins. You'll inhale, find a nice long spine. And then exhale, hands to hips. Take it all the way up. Yes. Moving to the wall, uh, for most of the hip openers, we'll take another version of down dog, again, to release weight and pressure from the low back. So start by bringing your hands to your hip height and placing them onto the wall, spread the fingers, and then begin to step yourself out until your heels come, I'll move my blanket a little, tap a little bit, your heels come underneath the hip, so just like down dog. So your hips, your shoulders, and your wrists are lined up. You can negotiate that as you need. And then bend the knees here, let the neck be long and then kind of pedal out in this uh, other downward facing dog. So if it's not feeling uh, good right now to be inverted, if you're experiencing any heartburn or even to be weight bearing on your hands, carpal tunnel, you can always take your downward facing dogs in this relationship to the ground. And then very slowly begin to walk yourself back come to stand and do circle out your wrists here. So we'll first target through the inner thighs and take a nice stretch through the side body with our prenatal tree posture. So coming to the wall, you'll take your right fingertips to the wall, weight is in the left foot, and now you can find placement of the right foot to the ankle, toe to the ground, calf, or assist the foot up to the inner thigh. Using the wall as support, Inhale, stretch your left arm up, and we'll take the gentlest side bend over toward the wall. So you're using uh, the hand. You're not collapsing into the wall, but you're definitely using it to balance. Good. And then just look down, feel a little neck stretch on the left side. So the inner thigh is opening. You're also strengthening through your ankle joint, taking big breaths into the left side body. On your next exhalation, you'll bring it up. Take that left hand to half prayer, and for fun, <laughs> set your gaze, and then begin to take the right hand to join the left. And the wall's always there if you need it. Just an inhale here. And exhale. And point the right knee forward, put the foot down, switch to the other side. Taking left fingertips now to the wall. The weight is in your right foot. Place your left foot appropriately, just not on the knee joint. And after you have a nice steady gaze, sweep the right arm up and take a gentle side bend toward the wall. Again, you're not collapsing into the wall, but you are using it so you can lean and take big breaths into the right side body. Turn the chin down, feel a release through the right side of the neck. And then on your next exhalation, come back to center. Steady your gaze, right hand to half prayer, and you can play with that left hand coming to join. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. And release, circle out the wrists, stamp out the joints. Next, we'll stretch to the tops of the thighs and the more mobility you have in the pelvis, the more the low back uh, will find some space and freedom. So bring the fingertips to the wall, nice soft elbows. Weight to the left foot again, so we'll start left all the time. Bend your right knee, and then go ahead and grab onto the ankle. You can take it from the inside uh, or the outside if that's more accessible. Driving the heel to your seat, and then try to bring the knees to match up. Breathing into the top of the right thigh, keeping the spine nice and long. Just two more breaths here. And if you're liking uh, any stretch a lot, you can always uh, stop, push, pause, and take more breaths in that stretch. Then we'll simply switch sides. Every time release, just take a moment to improve circulation by moving through your joints. Fingertips back to wall, tall spine. Weight is in the right foot. Left knee bends. 
Stretching through the top of the left thigh. Smooth and steady inhales and exhales. And slowly release, let it go. Last stretch is for the outer hips. So fingertips to the wall. We'll begin with the weight in the left foot. Pull the right knee up and you might need to assist right ankle above the knee. As you begin to crawl the fingertips down, just make sure your left knee isn't uh, far forward of the ankle. It might be just slightly, that's okay. And then flex through your right ankle joint. Keep the chest nice and open. And you can feel like you're not sticking your butt out, but lengthening your tail back and down. Breathing into the outer right hip and take it slow. Use each exhale to explore more depth, but you're never forcing with the Relax and moving through the body. We don't want to overstretch. So you're just very mindful to stay with the breath. And pushing down through the foot. Release it. Stamp it out. Stir through the joints. And second side. So weights in the right foot can help that ankle over and above the knee joint. Flex through the left ankle joint and then bend into the standing leg. Peek down, make sure that the knee is not too far past the ankle. Then lengthen down through your seat. Sending breath into the outer left hip. Again, if you really love this stretch on the first side, um, you would push pause, stay for a nice amount of breath and then switch sides. Also with pause, you could stay a little longer on your tighter side. One more breath. And then crawl it all the way back up. And the last thing we will come to, we'll teach you the resting shape and guide you through a short rest. So turning your towel into somewhat of a pillow and taking your pillow and using it as a pillow, <laughs> come to lie onto your left side. Rest your head on the pillow and take the other pillow between the thighs so you're not pulling through the hip or the low back. This should be a familiar position to you. And then allow your eyes to fall closed. You can have your hand rest on your belly or just rest right in front of the belly. And wherever you are with closed eyes, enjoy a full breath in. Open the mouth and breathe out. Allow the breath to be easy in and out through the nose. And then feel all of the muscles of your face relax, your eyes, your lips, your cheeks, your forehead. Relax your neck, your shoulders, arms, wrists, hands. Feel your torso release, the chest softens, your abdomen gets real soft. Just noticing perhaps any sensation from your baby. Feel your pelvis release. Next exhale, feel low back release. Feel the glutes relax, your legs, your ankles, your feet. And stay here as long as you desire.